Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another TBR video. It's a new month, so, you know, it's time for another one. I am very excited to be participating in Katie from Paperbacks and Ponytails. Christian fiction readathon that she is hosting. There aren't many out there. I don't think any Christian fiction ones. Um, but this is for the month of May. And the prompts were a lot of fun. And I had books that fit all of them. So I am really excited to jump on board and get into the readathon this month. I also have a couple other books on my TBR that I would like to get to this month. So it's a little on the ambitious side. But I'm hoping to really start pulling down my review pile. These books are all from my review stack over by my bed. One step closer to actually being able to tackle some of the books that I own just for fun. So, crazy. So, I am just going to go ahead and jump into the books that are not on the readathon. And then I'll do the books that are on my readathon TBR. So, here we go. I have two books that I started in April and didn't get to finish, so I'm going to finish them in the month of May, so I thought I'd include them in this video. The first one is Sir Andrew and the Authoress by Sally Britton, and this is a Regency novel. It is not technically Christian fiction, it, but it is a clean, sweet read. This is my first official book by Sally. I have a couple of her others, but so far... This book is super, super cute. I adore the cover. So. The next book is The Souls of Lost Lake by Jamie Jo Wright. And this is her newest release. It came out at the beginning of April. I am buddy reading this with my friend Grace. We've just been, uh, it took us a while to start. But we read a couple chapters at a time and then we talk about it. So we're about 60% into the book. So we should be finished pretty fast into the month of May. So far this book is very creepy and very great and I love it. Jamie is spectacular and I'm very, very excited to get answers to all of the questions rolling through my head. Next book is actually a nonfiction book that I'll be starting to work through. I'm not sure how fast I'll get through, but I definitely do want to start. Um, I'm going to be reviewing it on my blog at some point and that's Carved in Ebony by Jasmine L. Holmes and it is lessons from the black women who shape us like the tagline is inspiration from the lives of 10 black women of faith and the publicist at bethany house the fiction side actually um sent an email out to all the reviewers and she said that like it's a very touching book and they offered it up for review so it's really small but i just thought it would be a very interesting read i'm always looking to read about any women in faith and any women from history so this would just be very interesting to discover gorgeousness back to the fiction i am going to be reading the wonderland trials by sarah ella this is book one in her the curious realities series i'm not sure if it's a duology or going to be trilogy this comes out in july of this year i have an advanced readers copy um i am going to be reading this to uh, find some fun things because this will be my July book for my box faith and fiction book box So I'm going to be finding some things that I can like customize and do some fun Fun bits and pieces and it's just a gorgeous book and I adore Sarah She's one of the sweetest humans in the, on the planet and I'm really looking forward to this It is published with Enclave So, you know, it's going to be absolutely breathtaking when it comes out an actual hardcover in jail in July and then the last book on my TBR that is not a part of the readathon is actually for my book club that I do with all my other lovely uh, booktube, Christian booktube ladies. And we chose Meet Me in the Margins by Melissa Ferguson for the month of May. I am so looking forward to reading this. I featured this book as my quarter one book for my box, Faith and Fiction book box. It was signed by the author. I still have some boxes available. I'm obsessed with this cover. I'm obsessed with the fact that it's all bookish and I cannot wait to read this. I'm super, super excited and I'm glad that this book was chosen for the month of May for our Christian Booktuber book club. All right, now we're gonna jump into the Readathon TBR and I have five books on this TBR. There are five prompts that go 
through the month so you can choose to do all five as five separate books or you can double up on books if you want to. Uh, I chose to do five separate books. So they are a span of genre. This is the first month so far this year that I haven't done a consecutive month of one genre and I'm really excited to bounce around this month. Uh, but my TBR for my readathon is very varied. <laughs> And I'm really, really looking forward to it. Katie is going to be doing a buddy read as well, included with the five prompts. I personally am not going to join in on this. I don't have the book. Um, and all the books that are on my pile are review books. So I was trying to keep in that vein. It is Under the Tulip Tree by Michelle Shockley. And I will put a picture here so you guys can see it. It does have an absolutely beautiful cover. The first prompt is flowers on the cover. And I actually had quite a few on my TBR that I could have chosen for. But I instantly was drawn to this one. And that is Yours is the Night by Amanda Dykes. Little poppies on the front. And this is a split time novel. I know nothing else about it. All I know is Amanda is an absolutely beyond talented author. And I've loved everything else that I've read by her. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this. The next prompt is with new blooms come new authors and that is pick a book by an author that is new to you. And I chose The Peasant Queen by Ashton Darrow and this is an independently published novel. Um, Ashton is so incredibly sweet. She's on Instagram at Life and Lit. A doll if I've ever met one. And this is an Esther retelling and I'm very much looking forward to reading this as well. The next one is April Showers Bring May Murders, and this is to read a mystery or thriller. And for this prompt, I chose On the Cliffs of Foxglove Manor by Jamie Jo Wright. This was on my March TBR, but I wasn't able to get to it. Um, so I thought it was the perfect time to read it. The next prompt is Spring Cleaning. Read a book that has been on your TBR the longest, longer than six months. And for that, I chose the book that I believe has been on my TBR for the absolute longest on my review TBR. And that, and that is Before I Called You Mine by Nicole Deese. This has been sitting on my TBR for since it came out. <laughs> so cool, wide a while. Um, the cover doesn't really scream or speak to me. So I have a hard time picking it up, but I know that everyone who has read it has absolutely loved it. So I really am looking forward to getting to it this month. And the last prompt is Spring Fever. Read a book that has, read a romance book or a book that has some plot of romance in it. And for that, I chose Fatal Code by Natalie Walters. And this is book two in the Snap Agency series. And I'm so stinking excited. This is Kikoa's story. And this is Romantic Suspense. So romance isn't the entire focus, but it's a big chunk of it. Um, and Natalie is absolutely amazing at writing it. And I'm super excited to have my copy to read it this month. So those are the books that are on my May TBR. I have a total of 10. I am incredibly pumped and super excited about all the books that are on my TBR. So that helps and it helps that there's multiple genres. So if I'm in the mood for something different, I'll be able to just pull from anywhere. I have a long list and I'm very, very, very excited. I hope at, if you can, you can participate in Katie's Christian fiction readathon. It seems like a lot of fun and it's spanning the whole month of May, which is really exciting. It's not just like a week where you have to cram a ton of reading into it. So let me know in the comments below what's on your May TBR this month. What is a book you're really looking forward to reading? Don't forget to check out my blog at for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com and my Instagram at for the love of Christian fiction and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.